All right, let's gather around. We're in Adelaide. The city is absolutely buzzing. I don't think I've seen as many people as we saw today at training. There was actually something quite funny that happened. A fan got through the security and onto the bus, chasing signatures for players on the bus, which is obviously not allowed. Uh, it just goes to show that everyone's going crazy for the footy at the moment. The session itself was good, a light run around. Uh, we prepared well for Hawthorne this week. One thing that's quite funny is that they've got the rooms mixed around, I think. Uh, um, I'm gonna show you this note. The room I've been given on this away trip is probably one of the biggest and better ones that I've had, and I think I've just worked out why. Dear Scott, we are delighted to welcome you to Peppers. Should you need anything, contact our friendly reception. Clearly meant for Scott Penery, not Tom Mitchell wine there as well. This is the rest of the room. Uh, I've got everything organised. I like to be pretty organised. So I've got everything I'll be taking to the game tomorrow. Uh, mouth guard, heel raises, AirPods, accreditation. Uh, I rolled this ball on the bottom of my foot. Uh, obviously waters and everything to stay hydrated for tomorrow. Yeah, a bit of OCD here, but I've got all my shoes lined up. So I know exactly where everything is. Nice bath. Actually had my first bath I reckon I've had in 15 years the other day. So I might have had another one. It's a good size room. In a good part of the city. As I was saying earlier, the city's absolutely buzzing and you can feel the energy and yeah, playing against my old team, Hawthorne again, which is gonna be great. You know, we didn't play well against them last time uh, when we played them at the G, they had our measure. Beat us quite convincingly, so it'll be good to try and get a win back against them. We've just had our session, time to kick back at the hotel and get preparing for game mode. <laughs> It's game day, we've just got up, about to go for brekkie and a walk with a few of the boys. Last night we had a big table tennis tournament which got pretty competitive. Uh, my game style was pure defense, I've got no offense in my game so purely just blocking it back which frustrated a couple but it was good fun. Uh, yeah and then we watched uh, a bit of the footy afterwards so I uh, didn't see the end of the game but it looks like Geelong had a close win. Tom Liberatore's numbers were pretty insane as well. So he had 19 clearances, which is off the charts. So that's the second time that's happened this year with Matt Rowe doing the same thing. So two great players of the league. Tense one that went right down to the wire. Credit to the Hawks, they were awesome in that second half. It felt as though the game was a genuine tale of two halves. We probably played some of our best footy for the year in the first half and kicked away to a big lead. And then, yeah, it was almost gone by the end of the game. It was, you know, we, we I think, went into a bit of preservation mode. And I think we tried to save the game to an extent. And when you do that, sometimes you just allow the opposition to play a real attacking game style. You know, we've been able to do that a few times um, the last 12 months to teams, but I feel as though when you're down, you need to keep trying to score. Otherwise, you know, teams get a run on, which the Hawks did tonight, they were great. Um, I've just called it a night early. A few of the boys are out having dinner and a few beers. We've obviously got the bye uh, upcoming this week. So it'd be a good chance to rest up. I've got a pretty decent knock on my hip. James Sicily got me an absolute beauty, so thanks for that, sis. And yeah, Pendles is obviously a bit sore as well. He also got a knock to the ribs, so Jordy the Goey was kicking uh, kicking up a few hospital kicks tonight, which was always great to sit underneath that. But uh, all in all, it was great to get a result uh, in Adelaide. Um, yeah, Gather Round's been a success again, from what I can gather. Uh, there's people still everywhere around the city. Our game tonight, I'm not sure what the attendance was, but it would have been close to capacity. It would have been over 40,000, I'm sure. So it's great that, you know, for two teams that don't originate from Adelaide to be able to pack out a stadium is pretty cool. So we'll take the win, you know, uh, games so, are so hard to win in any, um, any round. Well, there's no easy games. So yeah, you just got to bank these wins uh, sometimes, especially the close ones, because they all accumulate and add up towards the end of the year. So. Uh, we'll take the four points and yeah, hit the clinics. We've got a few clinics in the morning, so we'll get around 
a lot of SA kids and hopefully there's a good turnout and then we're heading to a recovery centre which is really cool. We always head there every time we're in Adelaide. We um, go to a place called Game Ready, which has been very accommodating to us over the years. We, we've got a gym there. Oh, they have a gym there, sorry. We're allowed to use the gym. Um, yeah, they've got a gym. They've got a recovery centre with ice baths and things. And probably my favourite thing and all, for all the basketball lovers in the team, there's a, a basketball court in there with machines that shoot out uh, basketball so you don't even have to retrieve your ball they said the time is on and you can just shoot as long as you want so that'll be good fun if I can shoot tomorrow hopefully my hips are going to be sore but we'll see how we go yeah,